One and two, and two just inexcusable ass losses, man. It's just sickening. It just is. You should be three and zero. Oh. You shit your pants against the Suns, and then again in the fourth quarter. Now, now, right? We're three games into the season, so you don't want to overreact too much. But now, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, are are you going to be a team that collapses in the fourth quarter every single game again? Like we've seen these Mavs teams, where it's just like fourth quarter comes around and they don't know what the hell is going on, and we have two fourth quarter, two fourth quarters like that so far to start the season. Like, holy shit, it just, it just melts down. Like, it, the offense just goes so slow, and nobody's got any clue what's going on. Dinwiddie had multiple possessions where he shoots a logo three. Thankfully, Maxi Kleba, offensive rebound, gets fouled, right? He, he knocks down both. Shoots a logo three with 14 seconds left on the shot clock. That literally, I, I can't, I don't know, maybe, maybe he didn't know the shot clock reset. It was off an offensive rebound. But then you have, I think the next possession... Running off of a screen, on the move, three, falling down with seven seconds left on the shot clock. And then Luka gives you four points in the fourth quarter. I think it's honestly time to rethink his minute structure. I really do. I don't know if the playing the whole third quarter shit works. I, I think it might tire him out a little bit. I think it's probably for the best to let him sit, you know, maybe like the back four, in, uh, four minutes of the third quarter, maybe the first four minutes of the fourth. And then you have him for the last eight minutes of the game, pretty fresh. And that way it's not like he comes in with five minutes left and it's like a weird thing. Oh man, I, these are just two terrible losses. I mean, two inexcusable ass losses. And, and I, I know kid likes to experiment with, with rotations and shit, man. But man, some of these rotations suck and they suck immediately. Like, it's not like, oh, well. Uh, they play pretty hard, and then it's like one bad possession. Like, they're terrible the whole time. Damn, man. I mean, Wood's up to 20. I mean, Wood was great again. I thought Maxi was phenomenal tonight. I really did. I thought he played great defense. I mean, Luka gives you 37. I'm pretty sure that means he leads the league in points now. Points per, points per, uh, points per game, whatever. Uh, and you do have to give them, a, uh, you know, they were down big in this game. I think that the biggest lead at one point, was it 20? 16. And you know what? I'm not going to excuse them for that. They came out sleepwalking tonight. The Pelicans put up 40 in the first quarter. And you were just digging uh, digging yourself out of that hole the whole game. But then I don't, I don't even want to use that because they had a lead. They had a lead in the fourth quarter, I'm pretty sure. They had a lead in the fourth quarter. Uh... Like, I, I think, like, at some point, it's like, okay, the JaVale McGee experience, it's looking really ugly already. Like, let's just call it what it is. Christian Wood, if you want to start winning games, it's, it's like, and you could tell Kid wants to bring Christian Wood in because they're subbing him in with one minute left in the fucking game. Hey, Kid, the game's over, man. Like, the game is over. Like, I, I'm just, so you could tell he's like, okay, we, we do need to get Wood out there. But I, I'm just, it's its hard not to be discouraged by this. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, man. That's just two inexcusable ass losses. Like, two losses that cannot happen. Like, if hey, if Zion were playing and B.I. were playing and Herb Jones were playing and you, you go wire to wire with the Pelicans on the road, I said the same thing with the Suns. You know what? You lose by two to the Suns on the road. You lose by two to the Pelicans on the road and they're hard-fought games wire to wire. You know what? Hey, that's, that's basketball. It is what it is. You're not going to win every single game, obviously. You're not going to win every single game. But you have a 20-point uh, uh, collapse against the Suns where you led by 16 points, I think, or 14 points or something like that in the fourth quarter. Collapse, shoot yourself. And, and then you have a game without Zion, without Herb Jones, without Brandon Ingram on the road against the Pelicans where you're up by, what was it, seven in the fourth quarter. You don't lose those games. Like, absolutely, you, you do not. If you want to be a contender, you do not lose those games. And right now, I don't know, uninspired. Like, they beat, the, they beat the Grizzlies by 40. Guess what? They always de just destroy the Grizzlies. I don't know what it is. Usually, they destroy uh, the Pelicans, too. But, man. The Compazzo, Dinwiddie, and Luka lineup was brain dead. Yeah, Compazzo plays. I mean, he's... I don't really blame him because he's getting fucking, you know, grenades thrown his way. Dorian has been just terrible offensively to start this season. Reggie has been horrendous to start this season. I'm not too worried about those two. I think they will be fine overall. I really do. Um, Spence was fine tonight on minus 15. There was like times in the fourth quarter, like in the third quarter, it was like Dinwiddie's brain shut off. Like I, I, I couldn't like really grasp 
what I was seeing because it was like the possessions were so terrible. And there was one possession where I, Dinwiddie had a tough finish, literally as the shot clock was expiring, where Dinwiddie had the ball for 24 seconds just standing there. And it's like, hey, 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 Spence. Spencer, the, the shot clock, Spencer. Sp hey, Spence, do something. And then he got a layup at the end, but man. Luca, two of 13 from three. That's bad. You know, he had, I mean, you, like, we can't sit here and be like 37 points, Luca, but four in the fourth quarter. Again, at a certain point, like, you got to look at kids or, or Luca's minutes and you have to figure out, all right, how do we get him in a position in the fourth quarter where it's not like bad? <laughs> like, where it's not like he's scoring four points and he can come out and he's, he's ready to go and the offense is clicking and moving. It's only one and two, but yeah, one and two is not the end of the fucking world. But it's it's like two winnable ass games that you just shit yourself in, like you just piss away, absolutely piss away. That's what it is. And yeah, let's not act like this is the Pelicans with with Zion and with Brandon Ingram and with Herb Jones. Like they're missing probably three of their four best players, three of their five maybe. Luca can't get in a rhythm in the fourth. It's like, I, I hate the, I hate the subbing guys in at six minutes left in the fourth quarter shit. I, I don't like it. I, I don't think it's smart. I, I just think it's better for him to be out there with eight minutes left or something. And you just let, I mean, uh, Jose Alvarado finishes with 13. I think all those are in the first quarter. Like, Jose Alvarado comes out, and my God, J JaVale McGee's like doing nothing. JaVale McGee's doing nothing, and they hit some tough shots in the fourth. So you got to give them that. Like, they weren't even really shooting the three ball all that well early in the game. Fourth quarter, they were hitting some pretty tough shots. They were hitting some pretty tough shots. So you have to tip your cap there. But like, yeah, Trey Murphy, 22 points on eight of eight shooting. You know, you just got to tip your cap there. But also at the same time, like these are pretty wide open stuff. Like the offense was really disgusting to start the game. But you can see like it, it definitely settled in. Like we'll take 26, 21 and 26. We'll take that. Like that, that's good defense. Offense just completely fell off of a fucking cliff. Fell off of a cliff. And now you have to figure out the the Christian Wood stuff. I mean, you just do. He's playing way too good to not get 30 plus minutes. Uh, I mean, at this point, he's playing way too good to not start. But I'm okay with the not starting thing if he's like closing games, but he's not doing that right now. And it's like, I can't, okay, see, like, the, the thing is, is coaches are annoying like this in every sport where it's like, if you have, already have like an established group, you got to work your way into it. You know, it's annoying. But that's, that's how, like, every coach is in pretty much every single league. Especially if it's not, like, a superstar. Like, it's not like Christian Woods coming in as a superstar. But then, holy shit, man. Like, holy fuck. He's playing too good. Yeah, and then the last shot of the game. Like, uh, enough of this play. I, I've seen it enough. It's enough. Uh, oh, I didn't take a clip of it. It's probably for the best. It's probably for the best. But, yeah, the little left wing three uh for Luca falling away it's I, I that play sucks get it out like I know he's hit it a couple of times and if he's hot and shooting well I understand it but two of 12 don't shoot that don't shoot that I would have rather have honestly you try to like get a little quick post uh, a little post with Luca and let him fade away or something Luca doing everything in the first he's cooked that has nothing to do with fitness no one can play at this usage Like, it's just like the shot's not there, man. Like, that, that shot is just not there. I, I just... Ugh, man. And, it, and, like, the offense was so weird in the fourth quarter, too. Like, it just was. Luke only plays five minutes in the fourth. Like, I, that's just not good enough. Like, uh, redo, rethink this minute structure. I think it's time. I generally do not understand how Reggie Block is playing over Seawood in the last seconds of the game. I mean, Reggie's one of your best defenders, man. Like, Reggie will be fine, but he's given you nothing offensively so far. Nice. Now we get to start one and three. Uh, dude, like, a one and two feels gross. Like, it just really does. Because it's, it's... It's inexcusable ass losses. Like if you, you know what? Losing by two points, a combined four points to two teams that people think are like teams that might be top five in the West. That's not terrible in a vacuum, but the way the games play out is horrible. Like they're, they're, it's alarming shit. Like damn. Mavs lose to an injured Pelican team. Luca amazing first half, disappear in the second half. Yeah. Two of 13 from three. Yep. He hasn't shot well so far to start the season. 
Dinwiddie carry, but a couple possessions of bullshit and two bad looking threes in crunch time. I mean, Dinwiddie didn't even play that bad. Compazzo, Compazzo had some moments. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I can't sit here and just be like, oh my God, Compazzo. Like, Compazzo, you know, whatever. Seawood has continued his six man of the year award contention. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I guess if he comes off the bench all year, he's a six man. Like, that's just. Reggie Dorian Finney Smith got to get more efficient at three earlier in the year. Combined one of eight, not to mention Lucas two of 13. Yeah, they didn't shoot the three ball well at all, 30%. You know, for a team that shoots, I will say this about the Mavericks. Um, they shoot a lot of threes and they get to the free throw line. Like, that's a recipe for success in the NBA offensively. We talked about that in the stream. <sighs> Lucas should sit unless hot in the third with about four minutes left in the quarter and start back in around eight minutes left in the fourth, unless it's a total shit to bed and bring him in earlier in the fourth. Yeah, it's just, I, I'm just done with this minute structure. I mean, how many times have we seen like him not be good in the fourth quarter? It's just like, have we seen enough of that sometimes? Don't know what assets the Mavs have, but Yaka Pertle would be a nice defensive anchor. This is honestly worse than the losses last season, giving up these runs. Well, the other thing is, too, is like the expectations are higher now. Like, it went from last season, like, let's win a playoff series, to now, like, we just made the Western Conference Finals. Now, expectations are a little bit higher than that. We should not be shitting our pants in this capacity. More guys need to do more without looking to Luke every time. Oh, God, dude.